Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minute Up, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Timber mod. This is an awesome mod. It's really simple to install, and it is a really simple mod to use and play with. I'm sure all you guys know what it is. It's when you break a block of wood, all the rest of the blocks fall down, so you don't have to keep going to get around those floating blocks of wood. So, I am here on the Timber Mod website. You're going to need two mods to install this. You're going to need Mod Loader and the Timber Mod itself. So, both these links are in the description, so go ahead and scroll down, or you can just click Timber in the green, and then you can download Timber Mod 1.4.2, and then you can click here for Mod Loader or another link in the description, and it'll be Mod Loader. Scroll it down, and then you can download Mod Loader here. So, I have them all downloaded already for you guys. Really simple. So, here they are. Here are the two files you need. So, Again, you're going to need WinWire. I will provide a link in the description for that. Just go ahead and install that, and then you should be able to open up these zip files. Okay, so once you have them both, just go ahead and open it up, and you should see a few things in here. You should see a README, which gives you the instructions, but that's what I'm here for, so screw that. And you should see the mod loader. It comes with a bunch of class files. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and install this into our minecraft.jar. So to get there, you're going to go ahead and press Windows key R to bring that up. Or if you want to be lazy, you could go in and type percent app data percent. So percent app data percent percent. And there, it will bring you there. So, or you can go to this location. Obviously, it's not going to be this username. It will be yours. There's many ways to do it, but you want to go ahead and run percent app data percent. I'm sure you guys have done this before. All right, so you should see your Minecraft folder right here. And before we do anything, I always recommend backing up your Minecraft folder because if anything happens, you can always go back to this backup. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste it onto my desktop. And now what this is going to do is provide a backup. If anything goes wrong, I can just go ahead and drag this back in and delete this one, and then we will be all set. So go ahead into your Minecraft folder, go into bin, and you should see minecraft.jar. So go ahead and open that with WinRAR, or you could do right click, open with WinRAR, whichever you prefer, and it will bring this up. Okay, so you should see a few things in here. All you're gonna need to do is go ahead and find mod loader, open this up. Okay, so once you've got mod loader open, all you need to do is file and select all, or you could do command A, whatever you wanna do. There's so many options. Okay, then you just drag this over into the minecraft.jar. And just leave it the default settings and press OK. And then we're going to do the same thing with Timber Mod. So open this up. We can just select these two files. So you just press Shift, click, and then click both of them and drag them both in there. Press OK and you're done. So, but wait a minute, you're not done yet. You have to delete your meta imp folder. Now, normally there will be a meta imp folder right about here. It will just be meta imp. Go ahead and delete that. I don't have it in here. That is because I am using Optifine, and in order to run Optifine, you have to delete the meta imp folder. So just go ahead and delete that, and you should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and load up Minecraft and give it a quick test. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, so I am here in Minecraft, and I figured out something new. I did not know this about the Timber mod, but it only works if you're using a tool. So right now I'm using some glowstone. Doesn't. Oh, there's a creeper. Hurry up, I'm trying to make a video. Get out of here. All right, and now I'm using a wooden axe. Go, 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 go. And it works. And right now, there is a creeper behind me. And check out this axe. This is a beast diamond axe. Give it a test over here. Boom. It works, too. So, if you load up this mod into a new world and you try to break some blocks, you're like, eh, ain't no working. Well, it's actually a setting in the mod, so it's not too overpowered when you were just starting out the game. And a creeper blew up my house. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, and I really hope this helped you out. So if it did, you can leave a thumbs up below. I always love those thumbs up. They're just like, ooh, I love them. And you could say subscribed if you want to see when my videos are released. And you could subscribe. You could stay subscribed, or you could subscribe. That would be an awesome thing to do. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.